Oh, hello. Welcome to Overcash Literature Hour. I'm Overcash. Today we'll be reading James Clemens Hall Monitor, a comedy written by James Clemens himself, a tale as old as time itself. Let's get started, shall we? Chapter One. Who is James Clemens Hall Monitor? The name of James Clemens Hall Monitor is Zachary Lewis, son of Gerald and Carol Lewis. Not much is known about him, except that he was born in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and that he moved to James Clemens his junior year. Now, on his first day of school, Zachary Lewis was eating his lunch all by himself. No friends, no one to talk to, and very nervous about his first day at school. He looked over at the wall and saw a poster. And in that moment, he knew what his place was at this school. He, Zachary Lewis, was going to be the James Clemens Hall Monitor. So he went to room F-104. I want to be James Clemens Hall Monitor. Okay. And just like that, Zachary Lewis was the James Clemens Hall Monitor. Chapter 2, Being the Hall Monitor. After getting the job, Zach thought he should reinvent himself as an authority figure. So he wore aviators and, and chewed gum, but most importantly, what he did to show his authority was to wear a Hall Monitor sash. Not only did it look the part, but he had to act the part. <laughs> Do you know why you are here, Preston? Um, no. You were late for class. Well, you see, I had to get from F-107 to D-217, and there was, I only had four minutes in the hallways, and I had to go to the bathroom, and, and I just, I couldn't make it, but only, only by a few seconds, you know? Preston, do you know what happens to students who are late for class? But, but I had to go to the bathroom. Oh, Preston, you will have plenty of time to use the restroom now that you are in detention. What? Detention? Are you kidding me? That's so unfair. I was only three seconds late to class. That's really... I, two hallways over? I, I can't make it that time. Don't be late for class next time. No pushing or shoving in the halls. Ow! Um, if you could just not do that next time, that'd be really nice. Thank you. Philip, I told you to stop littering in the halls. All right, it's bad for the environment. Uh, the administration can't... Did you really do what I just think you did? Did you just drop that piece of paper on the... Look at this, Philip. Look at this piece of paper. Someone could be going down the halls and trip on it. Someone could... Uh... Philip! Philip, get back here! <sighs> Dr. Clayton's gonna be pissed. This is bad. This is very bad. <sighs> Next time, I'll write you up. No running in the halls. God, what's wrong with you? Stop it! Everyone's running in my halls! I am the hall monitor. I'm pretty sure I deserve your respect. Chapter three. What do people think of James Clemens Hall monitor? He's the biggest jerk I've ever met in my life. He needs to stop. He's a He's so mean. The hall monitor sucks here. Why do we even have a hall monitor? We don't need him. I hate him. I just, I really hate him. I shouldn't have given him the job. Chapter four, the fall of James Clemens Hall Monitor. After some protest and petitioning, Mr. Randall decided to fire Zachary Lewis. Do you know why I called you in here today? No, sir. Well, I'm gonna cut to the chase. 
Many students, teachers, and administrators, including myself, believe you are abusing your privileges as hall monitor, so we've decided to fire you. But, sir... No buts. Hand your uniform over. It was an honor being the James Clemens Hall Monitor, sir. Zachary Lewis was very hurt. He went home and cried. He didn't eat. He wasn't focused in class. He was unmotivated and wanted to be left alone. Zachary Lewis was depressed. Well, that was it. The story of James Clemens Hall Monitor. We hope you enjoyed it. Please join us again here next time for Overcast Literary Hour. Have a good day. Hall Monitor!